Today we're going to talk about that grandstand and mowing on hills. So let's get started. Hello, welcome back to my green lawn. I just wanted to cover the grandstand and mowing on hills. Zach over at Blades brought up a good point. He was actually showing his grandstand and mowing on hills and the little secret behind the little stand on platform. And I just said, hey, I've got a little twist to that. So I should post my own video to show you what I do. So here's my Toro grandstand, 48 inch deck. Not that the deck matters. But what we want to talk about here, the stand-on platform, how it's, how it's angled like this. So being on a hill, the, Zach was saying that this platform allows you to shift your weight over to this side, which is true. So I have a little thing that I do when I'm on a hill, and the only way really to show you is to demo it. Now whether it be right or wrong, it's just what I do, what feels comfortable for me and actually works for me, and I feel real safe and stable on the unit. And again, the nicest thing about a stand-on is if you run into trouble, you can always jump off the back. So there's like a safety. Obviously, you don't want to injure yourself. You don't want to do anything dangerous or stupid. Um, but uh, get to know your machine, know what it can do, know how steep of a hill you can take, and you just learn this over time. So, but let me just show you on the hill that I have here, how I run it. Okay, now Zach was saying if you're on a hill, you could actually shift your weight on this little thing here. You could actually do this. You could shift like this. You could lean on it. Um, usually when I'm, I'm running it straight, I'll, I, I'll run it like this. Sometimes like this, depending if it's a super flat or if you're real comfortable. Sometimes like this. Okay, let's see if you can actually see what I'm doing here. When I'm on a hill, where you can shift your weight, you can shift the weight this way and kind of lean into it. So what I do is I take my leg and I put my leg on the little hump and I wrap it around the side of the machine and I run it. And then I run it. Like this. When I come back, I'm running it like this. Really not much more to be said. I just lock my leg around the side of the unit. I just feel like it holds me up. Actually, when I don't do that, it feels like I'm slipping off the, off the platform. So I've really gotten used to locking my leg around the side. And then if there's ever a problem when I feel like I need to bail, I can just bail. I've, I've never had to do that before. I've even taken some, like they say not to go straight up a hill, but I've had a couple properties where I've had to go straight up a hill. And I can take a pretty steep hill with this, with this uh, grandstand and I still feel safe. Going up, going down a steep hill is a little 
different. Everything wants to slide a little bit. You can go down a hill. I just wouldn't go down a steep hill. Um, try to take a hill maybe at an angle, a slight angle if you can. But going straight down a steep hill uh, could be dangerous. But I've had really good luck with this particular grandstand going straight up a hill. Uh, again, you don't want to go too slow. You don't want to go too fast. Um, when you get to the top, you don't want to be evil Knievel and, and launch yourself over the Grand Canyon. So you have to watch out for that. But I hope that demonstrated it, Zach. I hope you, I hope you get a chance to see the video and see the way I run my grandstand. I, 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 there is a, a correct and an incorrect way to do it, but I think the most correct way of doing it is the way that you feel the most comfortable. So, hey, thanks for joining us here on My Green Lawn. I hope you learned something from the video. Go ahead and like and subscribe down below. And with that, I'll see you in the green. You guys have yourself a great day. Take care. I got to get this property mode. It's getting dark.